39 minutes after the hour, you've heard of Virgin Records, Virgin Airways. Have you ever heard of Virgin Voting? Have a look. Are you registered to vote yet? No, but I'm in the process of doing that. Do you plan on voting in the next presidential election? No. Why not? Um, I, I don't know. I'm busy. This is because I don't have the time, really. Because I'm really, 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 really busy at school. That's a clip from a film made by 16-year-old Noah Gray. He is encouraging first-time voters to get out to the polls with his project, Virgin Voting. He's also asking them to document their first time. Voting, that is. <laughs> and Noah joins us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. So, so what is this Get Out the Vote drive all about? Well, this, my Virgin Voting project is, uh, is three parts. The first part is the, that documentary you just saw, 10 Minutes. Um, yeah, I spoke with some presidential candidates as well as young people to see if, if they were going to vote and, and what issues were most important to them. And, uh, and that was the first part of the project. The second part of the project is we uh, made these, these uh, Never Forget Your First Time t-shirts to promote the uh, to promote the You've voting. You've got one on this I've morning. Got one Very on this stylish. Morning, yes. yeah. And then the third part is the is the Virgin Voting video contest, which I've launched. Which is uh, I guess we'll talk a little bit about that. But that's yeah. to encourage. Talk about that in just a second. But let me ask you first of all. Some of the people that you talked to in that video clip said, "No, we're not going to vote." You know, statistics show 47 percent in 2004. 47 percent of people between the ages of 18 and 24 went out to the polls, compared to 66 percent of people age 25 and older. What, what are you finding about why more young people don't? Don't go out and vote. Well, a lot of young people are very busy, but keep in mind that those interviews uh, were conducted uh, during the primary season. But now it's it's getting a lot a lot more close to election day, and as we see, more young people than in any other election basically have been registered to vote. And uh, it's it's been that that, that peaks, and since 1972, uh, when the voting age was lowered down to 18, it was it soared, and then uh, it sort of gradually went down, and then this year should be the peak year. But uh, I think more young people are going to try and make their way to the polls. They've all registered, and uh, young people have been known not to not to go to the polls after registering. But I, I hope they do, and they do turn out well, on November an, an, an interesting point about what you just said that that video was taken during the primary process. A record 6.5 million young people went out and participated in those in those primaries. Do you expect that we're going to see a similar participation or even greater participation on November 4th? I think it's going to be similar, if not greater, and that's what I'm hoping for. Right. So what is it now that's driving this interest among young voters? Because for so many years, they felt disenfranchised. They felt like they couldn't make a difference. They weren't part of the process. Why do they feel engaged now? I don't know. Now they, the young people are the future of the country. They should. They, they want to determine the leader. Who's, but they who's, always have been, and they, they still oh, have yeah, but, but now it's, it's, so, it's so key whether or not they're going to go fight a war. Uh, whether or not they're going to be able to get affordable health care, whether they're going to be able to pay for college, what type of planet they're going to inher inherit. Um, I, I don't know why exactly this, this but, people, but young people seem to be more interested than, than ever. Maybe it's because uh, the candidate's running. Right. Well, let's talk about this never forget your first time part of the campaign. You want people to document their first time at the voting booth, uh, sort of like a little mini documentary of their experience, which you're going to post on YouTube. Are you trying to create sort of like a, a community feel? Yeah, People can uh, share their experiences? Yeah, it's, it, I'm trying to, uh, to have them share their experiences, but to, pr to promote actually going uh, to the polls and document that because, like I said, young people are known for registering but not actually voting. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, uh, I'm giving them a second incentive, which is uh, with, the details are on my website, virginvoting.com, but um, the first prize is going to have a $500 gift card to the Apple Store, right. which gives, that gives them another incentive to vote if they don't already have one already to, uh, to select their next president. You know, with the name Virgin Voting, you might want to reach out to Richard Branson. <laughs> he, he may be able to up the ante here a yeah, little bit. It's all, it's all been on my own, though. Well, it's so, a great project. Yeah. Noah Gray, it's great to meet you. Thank you. Great Thank to you meet a young man us. like yourself who's really involved in the process. Good luck to you. I you know you'll be watching the debate tonight. I will be covering right. the debate at Hofstra this afternoon. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Good to see you. Thanks. And again, by the way, to learn more about first-time voting and the Virgin Voting uh, YouTube contest, log on to virginvoting.com. Sounds like a great idea. Karen?